Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hi guys. <laughs> he is working in the kitchen on his next um, project. So, it is New Year's. Happy New Year's. Hope you guys started off with a good, a good, um, morning, I guess. <laughs> we didn't really do anything. We just kind of stayed home and crafted, you know. That's the perfect New Year's for us. So, what do you guys think? I love this. I think it's so awesome. So, I asked my sister if she would make me one that said, and Clint, because somebody said I needed that, and she can't wrap her head around it, so <laughs> I'm going to have to tell her, go watch my videos and you'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so anyways, today I was thinking we needed some um, uh, tags to go in the blue journals, so the winter journals. So I pulled out some different cards that I had. These are from a uh, casino that sis and I went to uh, when you go to a casino sometimes you, and you um, kind of sign up with them they give you a goodie bag and so they give us both used cards <laughs> they probably end up with so many so I just pulled some things I thought I might could use for blue so I have like tickets that Robin sent me um, some of the stuff that we still had out from yesterday and um, I was looking through here and I have like a blue that we had done in uh, other things so I do have a few blue items that I can use in the books so that's kind of fun so we're gonna get started making some tags or you know whatever we end up doing um, I don't mind you know making extra because eventually I'll use them or I'll put them in like a um, special for people or something so I was thinking about maybe using some Tim Holtz peoples so we'll see I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to do today but kind of mess around I did get a little stuff done Clint had to run to town for a job and so while he was gone I was kind of cleaning up and uh, hurt my leg I'm not sure how I did it but that is not surprising let's see I'm thinking about maybe just using um, index cards I know I have a whole bunch of them right here this one's pretty so let's just kind of play with index cards cards whatever else we decide to my niece made these and she was selling them but then she um, gave that up and so she just gave them to me this wasn't working for her those were kind of fun so let's just see what we can do I was gonna do blue and I love this color but I might can save that for something else Sophia's over there with a the little ball so let's see we do have this I did bring out a punch that's a pretty good size punch and I wasn't sure see how big it is I wasn't sure that you know I could even punch a card without it messing up or something in there because huh. I think it's too big yeah it's too big but I can punch maybe one of those out of this blue one you think I can line it back up of course not okay this one's really hard to use this is a punch I got from Hobby Lobby a while back okay I got that one. 
But what I like about it is you can use the negative or the positive. So you can use the cutout or the negative of it. So that might be an option. Okay, let's just kind of play. I did grab my envelope that has the all my Tim Holtz guys in it. And I'm trying to see if I want to use maybe something bigger to make a envelope from. Or a, not an envelope. Pad. Always organized, you guys know that. <laughs> <laughs> this one kind of looks like snowflakes so let's just cut this down uh, I typically like like three by six for my tags or three and a half let's do three and a half and just kind of play today I also do like you know to fold it up sometimes that's always kind of fun and then you can like fold it over. I've seen those recently like on Pinterest. Let's just kind of do that and play. Let's do one more real quick. See what sparks our creativity today. Hope you guys are doing well in this new 2020. So I think that's so fun. They have been um, debating on the internet or on uh, the news channel and stuff. Is it the beginning of a new century? Isn't that what they're calling it? A century? It's a decade. Decade. Is it the, a new decade or is it not until next year that it's a new deca decade? Yeah. So. I think I am going to cover this because I think I will like that better. But yeah, so that's been kind of interesting just to see what people say. And uh, I guess scientists and stuff say it doesn't really happen until um, 2000 and, or 2021 isn't the, you know, right choice, but... I don't know. I just kind of, you know, it's 2020 and that's all it is. I don't really think about it. So I am using some art glitter glue. I just really like the art glitter glue. It's my favorite. So if you're new, that's what I'm using. That's my glue of choice. And I always have a link below for that um, on Amazon. Though, sometimes I do purchase directly from the um, Art Glitter Glue company, which is located in Arizona. So, grab my scissors. Oh. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I hurt, hurt my leg, but I think I either um, pulled a muscle or like pinched a muscle or something so thank you guys for continuing prayers for my sister-in-law she is still not doing very well so they're waiting to send her into a rehab area they're waiting for a room to open up so this is about three and a half by nine so, I don't know. I just thought we'd just play. Let's use some of this paper that Miss Leslie gave us. Yeah, it'll work. Anything that we can uh, write on the back, I do like to do that. Even if I think I might um, glue it down, you know, in the book. I still like to kind of back them that way whenever I am going to use them if it doesn't end up being this journal it might be another one then they're ready to go if I just want to pop it in a pocket or something but yeah Clint had to run down to town and do 
a job first thing this morning and it was cold it was negative zero when we woke up so it was really really cold <laughs> so thankfully he didn't have to be down there until about 8 30 or 9 so it was a little bit warmer but it was still like 12 degrees or something it's craziness i tell you but we don't mind it we're enjoying it and like he was saying we don't think we have to do any work the rest of the week so depends on what comes in today whatever comes in today i think we'll do, be due friday so but yeah we don't have any plans really for the new year just enjoy crafting and you know organizing stuff like that I made it one whole day on in my point system so for Weight Watchers so I'm right on track <laughs> one day is better than none day, no days huh <laughs> so what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing a tag with a pocket of some sort so here comes Jazzy Lynn hi baby girl what are you doing just kind of messing, seeing, seeing what I can kind of come up with. That might be kind of interesting, something like that. That's kind of fun. Okay, let me see. Go ahead and cut my corners. You just cut it off and match it back up and then flip it over and put it on the other side. You guys can't see her, but Sophia is right there in my um, uh, glory box because you know how they are with boxes <laughs> and then you can use this one as a sample for this one baby girl I'm gonna cut your whiskers off no Uh, I tell you guys, never a dull moment. I know I say that all the time, but it is so true. Jazzy Lynn, no, baby. Daddy wants you. You better go see what Daddy's doing. You know what? You better go see what Daddy's doing. I think I'm going to go ahead and just fold this. And if I had my sewing machine set up, I probably would sew it, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to worry about it right now. A purple in there from um, when we did those big old journals. So that's kind of cute. I am going to just glue this down. You don't have to. It would be a perfect spot to journal underneath it if you wanted to. Especially since I put the um, coffee dyed paper on it. And then we're just going to kind of, you know, decorate it. Maybe do some um, collaging. We'll see. We'll see what we want to do. Because I wouldn't mind, like, putting some stuff on the inside of it. Just to kind of, you know, bring it up to where, to my style, kind of. And I love collaging, you guys know that. Yeah, something like that. Just kind of decorating the inside. It probably would have been easier had I not um, <laughs> glued it down first. Live and learn though, huh? So my, I did talk to my brother. He did. He went. Ended up going and getting some medication and stuff. Um, so he was kind of concerned about going to a new place, but it all worked out for him. But yeah, Danita is just not doing very well. But it seems like everything else is pretty pretty good. I still haven't heard anything about Michelle. 
So I really don't know what's going on there. Might have to try to, you know, see if anyone knows. I'm just um, using some vintage photo ink to go around this tag. I really like that look. Let's do that with this one too. I'm just kind of guessing about where I want it to go. It's not anything, um, you know, I didn't do it any perfectly. It's about two and three quarters inch, just in case you were wondering. But it's not necessary, you know, that it's exactly that. I just like it to be um, small enough to go in my, in my journals. I don't mind if it takes up the whole page or whatever. So, let's see, kind of like the idea of putting, you know, something like this on the front. I wonder where my um, stuff is. Could be right in front of me, but the cats are all right there. <clears throat> So let me go get some more sandpaper and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I was going to, let me show you. I need to get it in my glory box, which is this box right here that Miss Sophia is in, but it's not going to happen. Oh, did a baby, did a baby girl. I'm surprised she's putting up with this one here because she is not a fan of her. But I was thinking if we had those cute little cards, they wouldn't they go right here? So cute. But I can't get in there and uh, you guys know how it is. How it is when you have cats, you can't disturb them. You can, but you know, I don't know what that was. So I went out and stole another piece of um, sandpaper from Clint and I'm just kind of scratching this up. You can use, um, what am I thinking? You can use gesso or something like that. All oh, little girls cleaning up sis big sister's ear and she's still not growling out her so that's a good thing. Or just some sandpaper, just to kind of take off that um, shine. I like to take it off, but, you know, do whatever you prefer. Um, let's see. Kind of wiping it down with a clean piece of tissue. And... Put some distress ink on there. Always fun with the kitties. That's sarc sarcasm. <laughs> feel sticky but I don't see anything I thought it was like the black because they put black on it maybe to mark them and I don't know so I'm wondering if I kind of want to you know cut this down maybe I do yeah let's just cut it I'm gonna cut it so that I can save that six to use again yeah, that's kind of fun. And I'm just going to kind of try to cur 
curved my corners just a little bit because I don't I'm not sure where my corner rounder is because of the kitty okay that'll work perfect I want something to go underneath it this one am I gonna put anything on the inside sure let's put some of the blue paper that'll be kind of cool and it's upside down that'll work just to give it you know some interest I think hi Jazzy Jazzy win so I always sleep on take a nap on the couch and she's got to where she sleeps by my feet, so. Jazzy, I tell ya, so silly, silly girl. And maybe a ticket, that'd be kind of fun, maybe. But I tell you, you know, we always wake up like at 3.30 most days and so it's kind of nice to take a nap if we can and what about kind of matching mixing it up kind of like that yeah i like that can you guys see it okay That's kind of fun. And then where's my snowflake that I just had? My sister sitting on it. Nope, here it is. Kind of maybe cutting that in half and using that. That's kind of fun too. Maybe something like that. Just to kind of put in that element of a snowflake. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I like that. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm just going to, I'm not doing the fold over. I'm just kind of gluing it down. And that way when we put another little tag in there, it'll still have a little bit of a decoration. So let's see what we want to put here. So I do want to use Tim Holtz people. Maybe this one that might be too small. No, that might work. What do you guys think? Okay, let me show you my idea. Let's just kind of pull this down like this. Then we'll put that there. But I kind of want something over over top. Jazzy, what are you doing? No, quit chewing it. Oh, I tell you guys, never a dull moment. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's rip this here. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I know I say this often whenever I am doing um, collage. You know, it's kind of a fill for it, and... Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had forgotten to clear off my memory card, so all of a sudden it just stopped, and I wasn't sure what was going on. So, and then Jazzy Lynn and uh, Sophia both left, because Daddy's in the, in the room. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. So, he is um, loving on Sophia, because he didn't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using this really fun packet that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I ordered it online just what? to see if there's something else I want to use. Maybe these two little girls. Those are cute. Instead of this one's too big. But I might use this one on the other one. And, uh, yeah. So. 
but like I was, I think I was talking about before it um, hung up on me is, you know, it takes some practice to do collaging. So, uh, just keep at it. You know, you'll get to where you have a feel for it and you'll, you know, appreciate it. So, I wasn't really... I kind of want these guys like to pop up here or something. If I put them here, I feel like I need something else in the center. Like I said, Sophia did get up. So let's see what we have in our glory box as Roxy of Roxy Creations calls it. Just need something else to kind of bring it all together, I feel. So here is like another Tim Holtz piece. That would be kind of fun. Maybe a stamp. Gotta find where we, I put them. They're probably right in front of me too. <laughs> really didn't get a chance to clean off my our space before, huh, hun? Oh. No. I don't see the stamp box, do you? Ow. That's okay. You don't have to get up. Okay, let me go look and see if I can't find it, and then I'll be right back. Oh, wait. Here it is. way behind my iPad so I couldn't really see it but I think it'd be kind of fun to put a little stamp or something here too so let's see what we have ooh maybe something like that maybe a little bit too big okay let's trim it down I'm just gonna trim it and keep just a little bit of the blue it's on really thin paper I'm not sure where this came from. But I'm gonna scooch it over like that. Yeah, I kinda like that. Okay, so let's do a little bit of inking. I do like to ink around these little paper dolls from Tim Holtz. I think it just kinda gives it a more finished feel and makes it kinda pop out better. But yeah, you know, just use whatever you can find. Um, I noticed we had like just a little, like the cover of the salt, you know, the, the spout on the salt that came off. And I was thinking, you know, that'd be a perfect layering piece. <laughs> so you never know what you can find. Just anything, you know, tags or old tickets or whatever you can find. That's what makes it fun. And I love that since I cut this off from the bottom, you know, I can, was able to kind of carry it up to the top. So I think I'm going to put that there and then this little guy. So we go right about there. And I like to kind of layer before I glue it down just to kind of get a feel for for it and see what I want under what or on top of what and kind of go like that but it's kind of addicting once you get into collaging it's just so much fun and then I'll put these little girls like right there just just for some more fun and these are just Tim Holtz paper dolls. Some people like them. Some people aren't that fond of them. But I like them. I think they're fun. I don't think to use them all the time. So it's not like I'm tired of them or anything. So I think this one's done. And then we can put like a little uh, tag or something 
on the inside, like even something like this. I'm just going to trim it down real quick. For journaling spot or, you know, leftover coffee dyed paper. And then I'm just pull it out, journal front and back. And then, yeah, that's cute. And I like that I added the uh, snowflake. I think that's a really sweet touch. So let's do one more because I have it kind of set up already. A little bit different. That might be fun there. Okay, um, blue. I still had a little bit of this blue left. So let's put it like there. Put a little bit of ink. Sorry guys, Clint's really hurting today, so he's his humor faucet is off, uh, honey. Yep. It's just not feeling very good. Um. Maybe we'll put it like this. Put the main piece maybe up there. Let me pull this up. See what I mean? If you think about it first, then you don't have to rethink about it. I'm just going to kind of cut that off. Slide this down a little bit. Of course, I didn't put my glue on it. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. When in doubt, though, collage. <laughs> Make a tag. And then I have this part, part that I'm not going to like. I cut it wrong, I think, but that's okay. Let's see, what do I want to put there? Do I want some more of this blue? kind of pretty. I'm going to cut it in half. That's kind of fun. I love just using just little things that, you know, if I was using this for another <coughs> one, I might have just, you know, cut it in half and throw the other half in my glory box or whatever, but you can always use up your little scraps. That's kind of fun. Let's see what else do I want to do. Anything? Let's work on this little section right here. I kind of like this. I think that's kind of fun. Ooh, and I can bring this down here. Oh, and this. That was my thought. It's upside down, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It kind of, I think it kind of goes well, and it kind of draws your eye. So that's kind of fun. And then if I put this here, but maybe put this underneath it here. I think it's coming together. Let's try it and see. Do I want to kind of, I didn't do this on the other one, but... To darken it a little bit. Was I going to put it that way or this way? I can't remember. Okay, let's put it this way. And then we'll put this guy here, which is kind of cute. Yeah, sometimes you can be doing it, and if you do have, like, a setup and you want it to be exactly like that, then take a picture of it. You know, you've got all your layering down and stuff, and you don't want to forget, then, yeah, take a picture of it, and then see what, um, just use your, you know, camera, your phone camera or whatever, 
Maybe I'll put that there. That's kind of fun. Because now it's not going to go where I thought. Okay, let's put it there. That's fun. I like it. And that way you won't forget what you just did. <laughs> Especially if you have a lot of layers. You know, sometimes you're kind of, oh, it was so pretty before, and then you forget what you did. So that's that's a fun thing to do. Do I want to add a Tim Holtz people? I kind of like that. I don't mind that his head's kind of in the... The thing I don't like is this part here. I think it's too, um, too straight. So, I need like a piece of ribbon or something to go there, I think. I have... Let's see. I don't think either one of these colors would work for what I want. Let's see if I have anything in here. Once in a while, I'll put all my little scraps and stuff in here, and it doesn't have to be a ribbon. It could just be like a fun, you know, strip of paper. No, I don't like that. You never know what is in your glory box if you keep one of these. <laughs> Still thinking. You can tell I have not organized, huh? Ooh, what about a stamp? Stamp might help cover that up. Let's see what I have. But I may have to later today organize just because I really hurt my leg and I'm not sure what I did. And, uh, yeah, that getting old syndrome. My brother was talking to me, and he says, oh, my neck's been spasming. He said, it just kind of radiates down my neck. He said, Michelle, how do I fix it? And I said, Let's take ibuprofen and wait for it to go away. Because <laughs> you really can't do much else. So he wasn't too happy to hear that. But that's what I had to do because I told him, well, I had that just last week, you know, a couple of days ago. And he's, ooh, look at this. That's pretty. That's a heart. Might be okay if I kind of cover up just a couple of them. You know, just uh, so it's not so um, hard. Hard edge. Do I want the ticket there? I don't know. I like this. I think that's fun. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. This will really pop when we do the ink. Again, this is just another piece from Tim Holtz. It's like some ephemera pack, and it just had all these really fun pieces in it. Sometimes you can get them like in the clearance aisle, things like that. So I think I wanted him kind of straight. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then this will kind of go crooked there. So they said we were supposed to be getting a lot of snow, and now there's kind of, I guess it missed us or something. Isn't that what you were saying, hon? Huh? Well, it wasn't a lot of snow. It was only a 40% chance. Oh, I thought we were supposed to get another big snowstorm. No. Oh. Well, that's a big bummer, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, it kind of missed us, or maybe we might still be... It went supposed to get a little it did go north so I'm sure we'll be next week we'll probably be busy again with work <laughs> you never know though that's kind of cute I like it what do you guys think So it's just putting a bunch of stuff together and seeing what you can, you know, come up with. I like, oh, sorry. 
dropped off to my people. There's that one tag right here. So I think it's fun. And I think it will fit in those blue journals really nicely. You can journal on the back. I think that's really fun. But yeah, it has the good colors and stuff. So we have two that are, you know, quite different. But, you know, it's just using little odds and ends that you have in your stash and just kind of playing with. So, you guys will have to give this a try and let me know what you think. And I'd love to see what other people do. So come join us on our Facebook page, which is The Rambling Crafters with an S. And that link is below, but on Facebook. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.